Hi there, I'm John Berman, and I'm not looking for a new job, but every once in a while I do ask myself this question. Could I be President of the United States? Seriously, what would it take for a guy like me to actually become President? Well, this week I decided to ask two experts in the field if it's even possible, and believe it or not, they took the question fairly seriously. All right. I'm now here with Kevin Madden, one of the top Republican minds, one of the top Republican strategists in the country. It was Kevin who helped guide Mitt Romney to the White House uh, in the 2008 election. Now, uh, he's joining me now, and, and, and say hi, Kevin. Hey, John. How are you? Very well, thanks. And, and so, it's a serious question, which is that I'm 37 years old. I want to figure out what to do with my life and say I wanted to be president. How would you make me president? Well, I think that the first thing that you have to ask yourself is three questions. And the first is uh, why you want to run for president. Uh, I think the second question is, are you ready for the rigors of what a presidential campaign requires? And then I think, uh, I think third, you have to uh, figure out uh, how you're going to put uh, a team and organization together. Are you, are you applying right now? Is that what's happening? <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, we can talk about my retainer later, but I think that the most, I think the most important thing you have to look at right now is, is you have to figure out um, uh, what does John Berman want to do for the country? What is it that, you, I mean, look, I, I think there's a couple of ways we can look at this, too. I mean, we can say, um, first of all, let's look at the John Berman demand uh, and the people behind him. And then secondly, we have to look at who's John Berman and how does he go from here and where does he take the country? And then the third are the real questions about the technical questions about are you really ready for the rigors of what a presidential campaign requires? So I have to have people behind me? That's what you're saying? Who, who do I have behind me? Hey, look, I, I, have, uh, I know that you're a great uh, dad and husband. So I think that, look, one of your first assets if I'm doing a inventory of John Berman is the, the little ABC dudes, I know you've got two twin boys. Now, I think that if I'm putting your campaign together... I think that those two guys can give Malia and Sasha a run for their money. So exploit the kids. You know, I think I look at it as from a consultant standpoint that this is a great ad. I mean, I, I think about it now. Uh, it's like the um, like those double mint gum commercials. I mean, you can have the little ABC dudes pop up in a commercial and say vote for my dad, and then you have the other white guy pop out and say, twice if you have to. I mean, this is powerful, powerful stuff. <laughs> it was on purpose. I, you know, we had the twins because, you know, we thought that one day I might want to run for president. All right, uh, I am here with Democratic strategist Chris Lehane. Chris has helped countless people get elected, some not so much, but, but uh, he is a very smart man when it comes to politics. My question to you, Chris, is this. I'm 37. Say I want to be president sometime in the next 20 years. How would you tell me to go about doing it? So the first threshold uh, question to answer is, is there a reason why you want to run for president? It's going to matter to the voters, and can you explain it? Uh, are you ready for the marathon or really triathlon that is a presidential campaign? Most people who run for pre the presidency do it over not a one-year period, but it's really a life work. Uh, there are some people who spend 15, 20, 25 years getting to a place where they can run for the presidency. At a minimum, it is a hard four-year endeavor uh, that becomes an all-consuming aspect of your life. Are you willing to commit the time, the emotional energy, the resources to really run, at a minimum, a four-year campaign? So you're saying, just to recap here, assuming I don't have any skeletons in my closet, and, and as far as you know, I don't, it, as long as I can come up with $25 million, a reason, and if I can clear my calendar for four years or so to spend a lot of time in Iowa and New Hampshire, it's not completely unreasonable that I could run for president? It's a beautiful country, isn't it?